with Julie. I'm at Home Depot. This is one of many trips out for Bernie before he goes home on Monday. We're just doing more real world exposure, exposure to distractions, working on obedience and mindset in the face of lots of people, busy streets, people pushing carts, unexpected things. We're just making sure he gets proper exposure in a neutral or positive manner so that he can learn to behave out in the real world. just being the perfect companion. I feel like I could come here as his owner and do shopping and not have to worry about the dog. He's in a really nice heel. We just practiced off-leash healing, downstays, recall to sit in one of the aisles. He doesn't seem to be bothered by the people walking around at all. Hi! Hello. So these are all really good responses from such a young puppy being exposed out to the real world and not practicing any bad behaviors like barking, lunging. I haven't heard any whining at all. He's very much wanting to please me, wanting to take my direction. So the more opportunities we get and the more opportunities his owners have to take him out in a controlled way with positive or neutral experiences. What does that mean? Not allowing strangers to touch him, not allowing strange dogs to meet him because these are situations that we can't control so if a dog is allowed to meet him and that dog isn't so friendly and they get into a little tiff, that's one negative experience in, in Bernie's mind. And that's how dogs develop fears of other dogs. That's how they become leash reactive. If somebody reaches out to pet Bernie and he's not comfortable, that's a negative experience. So we wanna make sure that when we take him out, all of these experiences, we are the ones in control. And that's how we have positive and neutral experiences for our dogs, and that's how they stay well-rounded and balanced. You guys hear all these loud noises? These are all noises that some dogs might be fearful of. So it's really good that we're exposing him to all of these things. And he's learning, nothing is hurting me, defer to my handler. That's why all of these outings are so important for our dogs, and it's a huge part of our program. Every dog goes to a Home Depot at least once, they go to a downtown area at least once. They practice downstays with things going on at least once out in the real world, if not more. So. <laughs> All right, so here we are at the main entrance of Home Depot. It's not too busy today, but a couple people have walked by and he's shown me some really good stuff. He's not concerned at all with people walking by. People have been very respectful of his space, not baby talking or asking to pet. But also he knows that I'm here to advocate for him, not allowing strange people up into his space or strange hands to come down at his head. He's passed all my tests. Uh, we had a really nice car ride. He healed nicely inside the store. He's doing a downstay with distractions. He's not bothered by all the noises. He doesn't really have any anxiety. So this is just another good positive experience for him during his training um, and he's doing really well. He goes home on Monday and he is ready.